Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see a quick way to copy a layer mask from one layer to a different layer. I'm using the new Photoshop Elements 11 for this video, but it easily translates to older versions of Elements. Now, to benefit from this video, you need to already have an understanding of how layers and layer masks work. If you aren't familiar with how layer masks work, you can learn about it on my website. Go to essential-photoshop-elements.com and you'll see a green navigator bar on the left. Look for the button called All About Layers and click on it. Then scroll down to Lesson 3 Layer Masks. Click on that and you'll go to a page with a couple of videos that explain how layer masks work. Let's get back to our video on how to copy a layer mask to a new layer. I have this photo of some flowers and I duplicated the background layer and converted it to black and white and then brought back the color of one of the flowers by using a layer mask. Now I want to add another effect. I want to posterize the black and white portion of the photo and I can do that by adding an adjustment layer. I'll click on this half blue, half white icon, which is create a new fill or adjustment layer. And from the list that appears, I'll go all the way to the bottom and choose Posterize. Now I have a Posterize adjustment layer. I'm going to leave it at the default, which is 4. The new adjustment layer automatically comes with a layer mask and we know that if we want to hide the effect on part of the photo we can paint over that area with black. So I could choose the brush tool from the toolbox and make sure that my foreground color is set to black which it is and adjust my brush size using the left and right bracket keys and start painting over my color flower to hide the posterize effect. But here's a quicker way to do it. I'm going to undo that. The undo button has moved to the bottom of the window in Photoshop Elements 11. The main idea is to hide the effect from the flower by putting black on that area of our layer mask. One way is to paint the area black like we were just doing. But another way is to make a selection of the area and then fill the selection with black. And we already have a layer mask of exactly what we need on our first layer. Well, there's a way to turn that layer mask into a selection. The way you do that is by holding down the Command key on a Mac or the Control key on a PC as you click on the layer mask. So I'll do that. And now we have a selection as indicated by the marching ants on our photo. Right now they're around the whole outside edge of the photo and around the colored flower. That indicates that everything except the flower is selected. But I want the opposite of that. I want just the flower selected so that I can fill that area with black. We can do that by going up to the Select menu and choosing Inverse. Now the marching ants are just around the flower, indicating that that's the only thing that's selected. And I'll make sure that my posterize layer is the active layer in the Layers panel. I can see that it is because it's highlighted in blue. If it's not active, just click on it to make it active. Now go to the Edit menu and choose Fill Selection. From the dialog window, choose black from the pop-up menu. It's already on black, but there's all these other choices. So we want black, and then click OK. And now we have a new layer mask on our posterize layer, which is an exact duplicate of our other layer mask, and it hides the posterize effect on our flower. I'm going to press Command-D on a Mac to deselect. It'd be Control-D on a PC. And that's how you can quickly copy a layer mask in Photoshop Elements. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.